a boiling cauldron. Hope this don't blow up. Hey, what's going on, fellas? I got to build a high-powered soldering iron today, so we're starting off by melting this one pound of copper, which is basically these plasma tips and some welding tips for a MIG gun, and I'm going to melt a half pound of brass. And the purpose of this is to fill these molds up to make some round stock so I can turn some pieces on the lathe. And we're also going to be testing this crucible wash that I've made to see how well it performs at protecting these silicon carbide crucibles. Copper cube. Hopefully the GoPro is still going. The protection layer cracked on us. We'll take a look after that cools down. Oh, that refractory coating bubbled up on us. That's not good. cauldron. Hope this don't blow up. What that is maybe some of uh, the water glass there's the brass there's the copper ingot from earlier I don't know those don't look so hot
It's still hot. It's been a while. <laughs> there wasn't quite enough left in there. Let's bust these coppers open and get a look. Okay, so we had a lot of problems there, but we managed to get something out of this. I didn't have enough brass to make the large lug. I wanted a brass round this big, but <laughs> that's what I got. Mostly slag in that one. I forgot to paint my molds. I like to use stuff like this right here. High temp paint works pretty good for mold release. You got a little brass cube out of that. Big, massive, nasty looking copper one. So these tubes did work. I'm gonna do this again. Worked out a little better than I thought. I'm gonna throw these on the lathe and see if I can turn some decent looking round stock out of these. That's the tip I just made. Wow! Man, that copper conducts a lot of heat to the skin, doesn't it? <laughs> Hot off the grinder, man. So, now we gotta add a special type of flame to this thing. Now we're gonna hook up an oxyhydrogen torch to it because that would be the best torch for something this small. Oxyacetylene would be okay too, but we're gonna make a very powerful soldering iron here. All right, fellas, so I don't have time to finish the video today. We'll have to see the soldering iron tomorrow. It took us about three or four minutes to melt that one pound of copper and about the same amount of time to do the half pound of brass. I had some air compressor trouble during the brass burn, so I'm not gonna count the time on that. We're gonna to have to throttle up my air compressor. I didn't have the idle set high enough and it died on me halfway through when the compressor kicked back on from a tank charge. So that's where we're at. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I'm gonna solder with this thing as well. But I just wanted to see how easy would it be to make my own round stock with some available um, recyclable materials that I got sitting around. I was just gonna take all that stuff to the recycle yard, but Hell, if I can make a bunch of round stock out of that stuff, I'm never going to recycle it again. Round stock ain't cheap, man. And I didn't see any holes in that part. Once I had turned it, there was no bubbles, so I think we were degassed okay. Maybe if I did it a little bit better, got the copper a little hotter next time, and put some mold release in, we'd really be cooking. 